Hey guys and welcome to Words of Scale. So I found a couple of ways of doing internal linking with the official ChatGPT's plugins. So I'll be using uh, the two plugins, which is the SQR PDF and the AppPilot. And I'll show you method one and method two, but they're extremely similar, just different uh, ways of fetching data. So the first way is uh, assume you have your website with a sitemap and you want to write a post that references the uh, other posts within the sitemap so as to facilitate the internal linking. So the prompt is extremely simple. I like easy prompts. Use WebPilot, and this is one of the life hacks. So if you have several plugins uh, installed and active, you can name the plugin that you want to use, and it will use that instead of just trying to default to standard GPT-4. So the prompt is use WebPilot to read, and this is the address of the sitemap and suggest internal linking opportunities for an article about canned dogs eat marshmallows. Using markdown formatting, write the article and use the suggested internal links as a rich anchor text. And let's see what happens. And now we see that WebPilot has read the whole sitemap and it's saying based on the sitemap, here are some potential internal linking opportunities. Chocolates, grapes, apples, peanut butter, so these are all relevant, so no meat or anything weird. Bananas, yes. Now let's write the article. And of course, this is going to be a very short article that you want to beef up and maybe have an interim step where you introduce the outline first. And look at that. So here the ChatGPT made a mistake of assuming that I already have a um, an article about marshmallows and this is going to go to an empty page, a 404. But look at this. This now includes a link to chocolates, grapes, apples and bananas and this is all rich anger text and let's check these links. So this leads to Candoxy chocolate. This should lead to apples. Apples, uh, yeah, this is leading to apples. And again, this is a very short article, but in principle, I want you to be uh, to start thinking about plugins as different combinations. So you can have your sitemap ready, then you can create your outline, and then you can run those plugins in a sequence. And another way, so say you don't have a sitemap, maybe you don't have a site, but you have a list of keywords or something else, or some other reason that you do not want to introduce the sitemap into the plugin. What you can do, you can use a PDF, and it works as follows. So you go to this page here, which is askyourpdf.com. You upload a document. So once you upload your document, you get this unique link. And now you can do basically the same prompt, but this time you need to reference Ask Your PDF. So let's repeat the prompt. Use Ask Your PDF to read, and we'll be referencing this ID here, and suggest internal link opportunities. So everything remains the same. So now the Ask Your PDF is switched on, and this is going to tell us uh, once it finishes reading the document, and it has. And again, here is a draft article that should contain some of the internal links referencing the information in the PDF. So this prompt will be in my prompts library. And once again, this is not a complete and finished product, but this is just a very neat way of using the whole lot of your already published articles or future articles to include in your generations. And this is our first link that is going to apples and bananas. And the sentence reads, while marshmallows are not safe for dogs, there are plenty of other treats that are, for example, apples and bananas. And I'll just, I'll let it finish. And then I'll click on the link to see if it works. Another link. Okay, so let's check the links out. This is apples, yes. This is carrots, 
carrots and this is chocolate so this is it hopefully this video was helpful like share and subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you next time